बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट डिटेल आपसे शेयर करना ही भूलिया मैं आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू योर चैनल अबाउट फॉर इट्स एजुकेशन टू बी ऑनस्ट दिस इज All right. Beautiful. Welcome everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Welcome, welcome to the first live stream of October. I welcome you all. I took the same vibe as this morning. Well, 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 well. How do you build this, Heather? We've talked about this. If you lose confidence, close 90% and leave the restaurant. Simple as that. Um okay, so there were questions about Oh, someone needs to be muted. Um, Echo, okay, double so voice. There were Is it about really okay? How about now? Should be good now. Should be good. Yeah, perfect. It's good now. Um, so there was a buy right here. I took on pound yen for price to move up to retest this high, and uh, this was taken. Went so so we broke the high. When the candle started, so if you look on the small time frame, you'll see that you know this is where we broke the high, uh, you know, somewhere right over here. Once we broke the high, and then price came back down. I took the trade when we came up here again. So this was taken later on. This was taken in the second 15 minute candle. If you look on 15 minute, yeah, this was taken on the um, this was the first one, this was the second one. Second one, once we continued to move up, that's when the uh, it was taken on the second one which company's kurta is best i don't know okay so let's do some fresh analysis here let's start off with the uh daily time frame and then we're going to move on right because the new month has started not going to take a look in the weekly actually we're going to take a look at the weekly here as well all right i feel bad for people who are going to be late and they're going to come in and answer, ask uh some question stops we're below the candle um okay so l taking a look at the weekly right the weekly on gold, we've basically rejected down at 1621. We're coming up over here now. The new new weekly candle started. The new weekly candle hasn't really gone down. So I would still, you know, maybe imagine that there's going to be some sort of a possibility. Okay. So I would still imagine that there's going to be some possibility for the weekly candle to, to push down here a little bit to make like a lower wick. Let's take a look on the daily over here. Daily is consolidated, consolidating. This daily candle moved up and it came down now. It's retracing from the high we created on the London session. Taking a look on the four hour time frame. What we have now clearly on the four hour is that we have a support down at 1660. And now this four hour candle is trying to move up. Let's take a look on the uh, one hour time frame. Looking at the one hour time frame, we have uh, almost like, you know, the same situations here. So we have a resistance up at 1668. Let's mark that off 1668. Now, once we have this resistance, if we break above this resistance, where's price most likely to go? Most likely price may continue up towards, you know, 1674, which is 44 pips away, right? $4 away. This is where price may come up to. Now, this range, 
this is a 89 or 90 pip range. This is a $9 range. So we got to take a look on the smaller time frames to see whether there's some sort of uh, like, you know, tradable opportunities in this range or not. So looking at the 30 minute, we are approaching some sort of a resistance on the 30 minute time frame. Now, let's say, for example, someone says, oh, I'm going to take a buy once we break above this resistance, which is 1665, 1666. We got to answer the question, do we even have enough range for you to take a buy? So let's measure this range. This is a 16 pip range. This is not enough range to take a trade. And then if you even look it up over here, this is a 33 pip range. So first of all, we need to fill this wick, which is a rejection, right? So if you think you can take a buy above 1666 for price to continue up towards 1669, which is 32 pip range, price will need to break above this area, 1667, which is a 14 to 16 pip unpleasant range. So I wouldn't even think about taking a trade within this range, not even thinking about this. Hey Raj. So the better idea would be to wait for price to break above 1669, where you have a much better range, right? Compare this range to this shitty ass range right here. This is nothing, you know, nothing. So above 1669 would make perfect sense. So I'm going to mark this off like that. Um, just like that over here, potential buys above uh, 1669, right? Right there, 1669. And in the same way, like let's say if we take a sell over here below 1663, wherever it's making this low, this is uh, this is unpleasant range here as well. You know, like if you look on the one hour time frame, looking to the left hand side on the one hour time frame, it's. Um, We'll see. We'll see how price develops for short positions. Right now, I I I wouldn't be looking at any shorts other than you know buys above 1669 on gold. That's about it. Nothing more. Nothing less. That's it. Let's move on towards pound yen over here. Now, looking at pound yen, looking at the daily time frame. Daily is obviously bullish here. We have a massive thing happening with Credit Suisse. They're running out of money or something like that. But that's besides the point. So looking at the daily time frame, daily candles are coming into a rejection area to the left hand side. You can see this daily candle on the uh, 22nd September. We broke above the previous two highs and then we continued on pushing down. So we don't know whether price will reject this area to continue pushing down or not. We don't know that. So we got to take a look at the smaller time frames for more information. Looking at the four hour, we can clearly see on the four hour that we are creating some sort of a support on the four hour to potentially continue up towards, you know, 164, 400. So we're going to mark this on as a target for buys if, if there are confirmation for buys. Okay. If it's very important. If so now on the one hour time frame, it's very clear to see that price is consolidating, right? We have a support formed. And we have a resistance form right over here. Now, let's measure this range. This is an 83 pip range. Pretty decent range, right? Let's take a look on the 30 minute time frame now. Looking at the 30 minute time frame, this is what we see right here. We have the 30 minute candle coming up bullish. We're coming up towards a rejection area. So there's obviously nothing happening at this, at this point. Now, notice how on the gold, we didn't look at the 15 minute, right? But on pound yen, these wicks are so huge. This is a 40 pip wick right here. This right here is also like, you know, 37, 40 pip wick over here. So we're forced to look at the 15. Now, if a retard comes along and says, oh, Raja, why are you looking at the 15 minute? You got to re-listen to what I just said. So now looking at the 15 minute time frame, now we have some sort of a range right here. So let's say we are creating this minor resistance on the 15 minute. Right. This resistance is at, you know, 162, 600. If we break above, let's say this wick to the left hand side, 162, 680, and we measure this range, it's like a 23 pip range. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. You know, um, this brings me to a um, explanation on impulse entries. If let's say this candle or any next candle breaks above the high of this candle right here. This is a, you know, like a 27, 28 pip range. I may be looking into impulse buys for price to continue pushing up in this 27 pip range. Maybe, 
maybe a big maybe right now let's take a look at potential cells here right so we have uh support let's take a look at 30 minutes so now see on the 30 minute we have a lot of wicks over here since we have a lot of wicks on the 30 minute we're forced to look at the 15 minute market structure and this is what we find right here we have a 15 minute market structure now if we get a candle to break and close below 162 which is also a psychological number there's a very good probability price can correct the move we had in london session so maybe you know potential sellers below 162 they may play out so we're going to mark that off right over here potential sells below 162 even perfect 162 that's it that's what that's that's what i'm looking for right here now i'm going to answer dumb questions here in the gulag um salam raja can you explain on today's gold trade i mean the stop loss did you enter on the first break of the high after first week you entered gold trade by yeah it was like once we broke the high entered stops were down over here below this current candle um yeah so do you have any plan to go to omra in mecca not at this time no i think we were going to retrace a big on gold that live trading house to continue to break trend on gold okay you know, if we do see, if we do get a break below, you know, 1659, then we'll take a look at that. So after all the, that explanation, whatever left to do is to just wait. That's it. Wait. I didn't take gold because the Monday pre lender was a wrong thought. No, that was a great thought. You know, and as you see these things happen over and over again, your conference will build and one one day is going to come where you're going to say, OK, you know what? I've seen this happen on Monday. Time to execute a trade. That's what's going to happen with time. Um, we should look for buys when market is going up. Yes, I'm already selling GJ. Oh, very nice. Good job. I heard you were looking at 15 minutes, but during what all conditions should one switch to 15 minute? I, I, I already explained that. So, um, yeah, right now, just waiting for the one hour candle to close and the 30 minute candle to close. We have about 10, 11 minutes left over here at this point. Are US tech, NAS 100 and oil liquid enough instruments to trade? Sure. Your Instagram account, 6 million. It's Photoshop. Sure. Um, <laughs> I made 4,000 today. Beautiful. I made, uh, I made 133 plus $191 today. All right, let's take a look at this over here. Uh, yeah, so I made around three hundred twenty-four dollars today, and I did a hundred fifty dollar withdrawal. So yeah, already up a thousand dollars on this uh, five thousand dollar account. So it should compound pretty nicely here. Let's take a look at this chart sent by Abdullah Khan. So this is high time frame bullish, weekly bullish, fake out, four hour close bullish, buys above this area buys above closure okay sells below here looks good very nice took two l's but learned for tomorrow very nice well done a lot of people who receive a well done today very nice today beautiful easy easy answers oh here we go gold is going above so i'm not interested here i'm interested above 1669 because this whole area is a rejection area where's my um where's my zoom things over here? yeah so see right here, these are all the rejection areas, right? So price can come up and it can reject within this area, right? So that's why I'm going to wait for price to break above 1669. Do you count your trades as two or one as they're on the same bias? Two trades, you know, uh, two different trading opportunities are two trades. Can you tell us how to punish yourself after taking a dumb trade? Yeah, put your finger over a matchstick because you're going to go in hell for the bad things you do with your trading account and in live account and in life as well you know so it's better to taste the fire of hell while you're living alive right now let's take a look at this chart over here this is euro ad 30 minute 40 pip i didn't take because i already had taken two trades and it was profit just a little piss off still well if you're getting pissed off then you got to manage your emotions but you should be happy that your analysis was correct Uh, how much capital need for start? One dollar. Your tweet this morning about making the dream of being a full-time trader was on point. I feel you are getting me there. I'm getting better and better every day. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. How do you exercise the strategy in demo? I don't. 
Um, you are an inspiration. Thank you. A lot of self-loathing comments coming on here this morning. I do appreciate it. <laughs> self-loathing comments. Why are you looking for sell? On what currency? Oh, because, I mean, I'm not looking for sell. I like the idea for sell. I like the idea for sell below 162. That's all what I like. I don't, this is probably going to be a no trade range here for me. Uh, between, you know, uh, 162, 600 and 162, 100. So this will be a no trade range, which I'm going to type right here. No trade range. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait for price to either break below 162. And then we're going to see what happens here. The main suffering Raja meant was when we used to suffer discipline watching him make money on both London and New York when plan was taken to one session. Yes. What do you think about 20 pip challenge? Sure. It's already up to you. What can I sell? I don't know. Maybe sell some valuable you own so that you have money to trade or whatever. Hope you had a great weekend. Yes, Christine. Amazing, amazing, amazing weekend. Always. What's your balance? 6,000. Master. I know that there are several aspects and arguments to learn about impulse entry or break and formation of the candle, but what, what was your favorite pattern to lean on impulse entry? Yeah, we talked about that on Friday, and I really don't like repeating myself. Um, we talked about the same exact scenario on Friday. There are a bunch of different scenarios. It's very difficult to just talk about one, you know, because someone can say, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? So the one that I really, really like, we talked about it on Friday. So I think it's going to be better you go over the stream of Friday when we talked about... We talked about two things. We talked about the uh, perfect impulse entry and we also talked about when to look for, um, like, you know, when candles close. So these two things we talked about on Friday. I'm getting... I'm attending my cousin's marriage and watching your stream. Oh, very nice. It's pretty, it's pretty hot right now to attend a wedding, to be honest. Are you moving to UAE and leaving Pakistan next year? Who knows? Who knows where life may take us? But yeah, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at some news here. Forexfactory.com. So we have a lot of bank holidays. Your bank holiday, China bank holiday. It doesn't really affect how how market's going to move here today. Um, let's take a look at this right here. Use of GPY, Swiss consumer price index September. Japan Finance Suzuki says sharp FX moves are undesirable. Well, they're very desirable over here where we are. Don't panic. Credit Suisse is not the Lex Lehman Brothers. Who knows? You guys know what happened to Lehman Brothers, right? They went belly up. So Credit Suisse in Europe. Who knows? Who knows what's cooking? Nobody knows what's cooking. All right, you own FXM funding. The only reason you tell people you don't because of your broker repetition smart are you to collaborate with them, good marketing skill. No, I don't own them. I own one third of it. I don't own the 100%. I invested in the company. They seem good. The, uh, the group who started that is great. So I was like, okay, here's my money. I want to invest something. And here we are. Are you securing profits before your TP? Yes, sometimes I do. Have you watched Margin Call? Yes. One way to stop myself from impulse entry is your tweet saying you wait 10 more minutes before the candle to close and you wouldn't have taken the same trade. That's correct. And I also, I would also recommend people to not look for impulse entries. If you have been in, you know, um, market fluidity or you've been watching the streams for the last three or four months, stop looking for impulse entries. If you suck at impulse entries, it's because you haven't seen enough impulse trades play out. Did you blow a 3M account? Never. 3M is a lot of money. You guys don't understand. 3 million is a lot of money. 100,000 is also a lot of money. People on Instagram talk about 100,000 like it's chump change. It's not. It's a lot of money. When is the boot camp in Europe? Probably in the summertime. Would you consider to South Africa? Probably. Any boot camp in Pakistan? Yes. On 15th October, we're planning one. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna, you know, wait for price to come up towards 1669, and I'm probably gonna have some buys at 1669 on gold for price to move up. Recently joined Slack. Any thoughts for another Dubai boot camp? To be honest, I was looking at uh, I was looking at a boot camp in Dubai in December, but but the hotel costs are way too high. So if people even come up to, you know. Yeah, the hotel costs are way too high. So 
Yeah, we'll see. What happened to your $3 million account? Nothing. It's right here. Let me log into that. It's right here. We still have still have 2.1. So, yeah, it's still here. Look, the last, there was a 1.5 M withdrawal and that's it. So I'm going to chill now. That's why I'm doing this uh, smaller account. Boot camp in Singapore this December. Actually, we're planning Singapore in March. We're planning Singapore in March. How old is your Twitter profile pic? My Twitter profile pic is from 2008 or 2007. So it's pretty old. Yeah, 2007. Two thousand and seven. Let's see over here. Two thousand and seven minus twenty twenty two. Oh yeah, fifteen years old. That profile picture. Um, what about in the U.S.? I was already in the U.S. Uh, I'm right. Is I am right, mentor? You take impulse entry on the basis of candle closes above the zone and another candle for this retrace and broke the high. Yes, that's correct. I'm repairing a laptop while watching for price action in GJ. Very nice. How do you deal with guilt of doing nothing after one to two trades a day? I don't, I don't have any guilt. I have my day planned. I have things to do in my day. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I have things planned. My, my whole day is filled with stuff to do the entire day. Valentina already answered your question. Like, I don't know what you're doing with your speakers over there. Already answered your question earlier on. So my whole day is planned. There's no guilt. They, I mean, the only person who's guilty is someone who has no plans for their life, who have no plans for the future. That's the only person who's guilty. I don't feel any guilt. I take one or two trades a day and then I go on with my life. Trading is not my life. Why are you so handsome? Because I have a lot of testosterone running through my body. I wake up in the morning. First thing I do is I go work out and I eat healthy. And healthiness creates a much better... Oh, what's this over here? Pound yen, 30 minute time frame. Trade taken when 30 minute candle breaks the highs of bullish candle, cut 50%, lose only 0.5%. Yeah. Um, when was that? Oh, this was right here. Oh, it was this one right here. You guys got stopped out on this one. Okay. Yeah, no, I got in later on. It was like around 4 a.m. Eastern, something like that. On your Twitter photo, you look like a member of the band of the Osprey. <laughs> yeah. To find an explanation of the impulse entry at what point live, I don't remember. Probably it was in the middle. Probably it was in the middle or something. Middle or the end. But, um... Yeah, it was in the middle or or the end somewhere. I'll see if I can find it and then I'll send it in the Slack. Maybe I'm going to find it, you know, by tomorrow or something. Oh, it was closer to the end. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the one hour time frame here. Let's take a look at pound yen over here too. 30 minute candle has closed. 15 minute candle. All right, so this is going to be an example of an impulse entry I like. Please open your ears and open your notebooks. If this candle breaks the high right here, which is closer to, you know, the previous candle, that would be the perfect impulse entry I always want to take. Um, hat is the drive behind leaving million dollar account and trade the 5k account. Uh, to prove to people that you can still, you know, make a, you can still make a nice gain with a $5,000 account. Yeah, that you can still make a nice gain with a $5,000 account with discipline. And if you maintain discipline, you can make some great returns. So, so anyway, you know, price broke the high right here. So took a buy for price to continue to push up. We're pushing up right now so you know once we continue up towards you know 162 790 i think that's going to be an area to secure some uh positions at that point but um at the same time i'm going to be managing risk right here you know because now if price comes back to my entry point i'm going to be closing 25 percent because i basically we want price to continue to push up right 
But since whenever price goes into profits, comes back towards entry point, or you know goes into a bit of a drawdown, then that's the best idea to manage risk at that point. So just gonna sit and watch right here. So this, I think it got a little bit late. This would have been the perfect impulse entry for price to continue to push up. This one right here, right down over here, you know, but still should be, should be good. It broke in the first minute. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's called an impulse entry. But then again, sometimes it, I think it's all based on intuition. Sometimes you can intuitively like, you know, anticipate and once you do the same things over and over and over again, you get really, really, really good at, you know, um, intuitive analysis like that. And I think that's where um, experience also comes in. Uh, looking for GJ buys on a yellow line isn't better? Sure. I know why the simples have high probability. Awesome. Why? It is perfect mentor to explain us in detail due to trying to kind of, um, no, I, like we have two webinars in the database for that. So I just closed 50% right here because went in profits and came back to my entry point. So got to manage risk. The red candle is the booby trap candle. Yes. Um, let's not go into the detail of the booby trap candle because that was just a joke when the whole booby trap candle thing started. During impulse entry, you notice that you're using small lots as due to usual entry. Yes, also because this is my third trade for the day. So I'm reducing my lot size since it's my third trade for the day. Uh, yeah, so DJI USD. So US 30 spreads right here. 200 points or however, however you calculate the spreads. I haven't traded US 30, so I have no idea what good spreads are or what bad spreads are with US 30. Um, my average pip is based on the range. So this was, this is a 28, 29 pip range. So that's what it is at this point. So now once this candle breaks its own low, when we're closing another 50% once it breaks its own low right here. Wa alaikum salam. Gold shooting up, amazing. Well done. Did you realize that discipline is greater than motivation? Yes. Motivation means nothing. What are you going to motivate it about? What are you going to do with that motivation? Nothing. Motivation, there's no such thing as motivation or inspiration, nothing like that. Inspiration and motivation comes from the things you want to do. Discipline comes from, from the things that you must do. To be um, like, you know, a consistent trader, you must get discipline. You must focus on one or two trades a day. You must activate some strong risk management skills. It's a must. All right, see over here. Yeah, man, it's a must. Um, just garbage range, pretty long session volume, continue to push down, fake out, stop loss hit. Oh, so where was this? Where, 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 why was the stop loss right here? I don't get it. Uh, do you feel like once a person come back from losing situation in the life, they become unstoppable? That's correct they do become unstoppable. And that's what you have to become. You have to become the unstoppable force that continues pushing towards the rise of success. Uh, Kiss Jaga Pakistan Bootcamp, Rao Bindi. Does the mirror market work for US residents? See, if you can't find your country in the country list, choose crypto and then continue as normal. How you manage to increase your account that much without over risking? Just one or two trades a day, buddy. Go to my Twitter account. You go to my Twitter and you will see every trade that I took right here, I posted on my Twitter. Every trade, I posted the analysis. So Twitter is a great resource. You want to learn about trading? You want to learn how my mind works during pre-London session? Twitter is the perfect, perfect resource for that. What's your leverage on this one? It's uh, 100 to 1. Um, how do you define a profitable trader? You're looking at one right here. <laughs> how do you 
do you find it harder to close partial and small account? No. I, well, it's not hard. You just close it. I see markets are Dominion markets. Dominion markets. You have a lot more freedom. Why you use small account these days to prove to people that you can make a good living with an account? So this $5,000 account, I've already withdrawn $150 from this account. So I'm going to withdraw $150 every week from this account. And that $150 times four is what? $150 times four. That's like $600 a month. You know, if you can make an extra $600 a month, man, that's crazy. Extra $600 a month. Let's say your pay is $2,500 a month, right? And now you're making $3,100 a month. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Just, uh, I mean, like, you know, most time what, what guys do is like to focus on, you know, a thousand a day, 2000 a day, 4000 a day. Fuck all that. You know, focus on a thousand a month, focus on 500 a month or 600 a month, focus on that, you know, and that's where slowly wealth comes in, you know, over like six months time, you're going to be withdrawing maybe like 5,000 a month or 4,000 a month, you know, but it all has to start small. So I'm going to do this right here, right? So I'm going to do this right here. So I'm going to do small withdrawals. And by the end of this year, this should come up to um, pretty big. You're saying $600, like there's no taxes going on. Yeah. What's the tax on $600? If you're paying 70% rate, what's the tax on $600? $600 times 17%. What is it? 90 bucks? You still got $510 left. That's why I said Monday is the day of retards. All right, people are just 35% taxes. Where do you have 35% taxes? All my crypto is being withdrawn to Dubai. There's 0% tax over there. Depends on where you live. All right, so I'm gonna, um, but you're missing the whole point. You're missing the whole point. You're focused on the problems. You're not focusing on solutions. Raja Khanjir, yes, Raja Khanjir. All right, so I closed another 50% right there because, you know, didn't really, the candle didn't really do what I expected it to do. You know, so now I'm going to close the whole thing. Uh, London Open took impulse trade after 10 pips in profit stop loss hit by managed risk. Very done. What should you do if you get a late entry on slippage? Just close it. Let's take a look at this chart. This chart is uh, looking for retracement, 60 pip range. Okay, looks good. Looks good. Now you just gotta wait to see how it um, plays out. Okay, let me just put on some uh, delay here in the stream because you guys in YouTube don't deserve the best things in life at all. Trust me. Most of you guys don't deserve any good things. So we're gonna put a delay right here. I like to help you guys, but you guys don't deserve the best things in life. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. We got the slow mode now. See that? Manage risk. What do we lose here? $20 on a 50 cent lot. Lost What's your plan for this account? My plan for this account to prove to people that you can make a pretty good living trading a small account. I have 15,000. Please tell me the plan for $1,000 a month. Well, mister, I think you shouldn't trade with a $50,000 account if you don't even know what the hell you're going to do with that money. Master, exactly how many pips do you take partial profits and when you do it, what percentage lottery do you do? Um, partial profits, I take when I'm up 15 to 20 pips and then I'm going to put my stops to break even. That's what I do. Candle closing bullish above the zone and when another breaks the high, execute, right? That's correct. Oh, Gasser Butt lost $9 on a 25 cent lot. Very nice. In my opinion, today is a ranging day. Yes, it's a ranging day today. So we tried to take a buy over here, but we managed risk. It looked good for a little while, but 
whatever. How much stake you're holding in FXM funding? I have a NDA, so I can't answer that. For your transparency and teaching, you are an honorable man. Thank you. Have you increased your range of partial profits you used to take? No, it just depends on the market conditions, depends on the volume, depends on the range. So yeah, it's all based on that. Um, I meant I was just correcting your statement. You're getting too offensive. Don't let people feel they don't have to pay a tax just withdraw to spend it. Well, man, like, listen, taxes and stuff like that, it's all up to you. If you're not sane or if you're not mature enough to understand there are taxes, you shouldn't be playing with money in the first place. Green Marcus doesn't show Canada. What should I do? Uh, choose crypto. Don't you get scared that the candle might go in a loss very fast without adding stop loss? I That's why I add a stop loss. <laughs> in the beginning of the stream, you told how much you owed of the prop firm. Yeah, I did. But as I said, people are stupid here on YouTube. They don't really listen. Man, they, they, they don't even know. Some people don't even know what chart I have on. Do you think they're going to listen to that information? <laughs> I also have a small account uh, to trade. Since I realize that I don't need a funded account to make good money, I try to compete with you. I made 8% previous week. Today I made 2%. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. If a setup looks awesome, but it's not during high volume time, should we completely ignore it? That's totally up to you. Totally up to you. I would maybe go with the lower risk. Are you going to try nfp on this 5k account absolutely yes raja is the man thank you oh someone donated five dollars can you please change the fonts on your chart they're really hard to read at least for me i don't know how to change fonts is there a way to change fonts i have no idea how to change fonts yeah no clue what is your Twitter account? There are too many fake accounts. I think your brain is fooling you. My Twitter account is Raja Banks. R-A-J-A-B-A-N-K-S. Don't follow someone's name that goes with R-A-A-J-A -A -A or R-A-J-A-B-A-A. -A -A. No, it's R-A-J-A-B-A-N-K-S. If you can't find it, you better stop trading as a whole because you know if you can't do correct analysis on a proper account you're probably not going to do analysis on the market properly either i started live trading from today following your journey till december to see my growth with discipline to be honest if everybody sticks to one trade a day just one trade a day for the month of october you're going to do very very well when you close your partial profit, what percentage your trade close? It depends on your trading plan. I close 90%, but it depends on what your plan is. My FX book got updated 10 hours ago. Very nice. Don't follow Raja Banks. Oh, Baja Ranks. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a good idea to target two pip lot size of 10 pips. Please advise on that. Depends on how much money you have. Depends on what your risk percentage is. Depends on what your trading plan is. Um... I believe the initial goal is to make some gains and later use the gains to proper advise tax advisor. Yeah, that's correct. That's absolutely correct. Where to find more fundamental informations? There's a YouTube channel called Capital Hungry. That's where you can find a lot more information. Uh, any good reliable brokers for the USA traders, you can sign up to Dominion Markets, choose crypto as your country. Other than that, you can go to a heavily regulated broker in the US, which is called Oanda. You can go to Forex.com. You know, there are a lot of regulated ones. But the problem with regulated brokers is that you can't trade gold in the US. In case someone says, oh, you can do it on you know, Australia. I said US. Can you see GU? Give us give us a give us a what? Analyze, please. Analyze GU. Um, please send a chart and, and then we're gonna take a look at that. What's your account in Dominion Market Leadership Board? I don't have an account over there. This background sound is the main theme. Thank you. Your live session is already teaching someone that's not in the mentorship. That's correct. Thank you so much. You look like Andrew Tate. I don't know who that is. How much BTC you have? Zero. Um, I'm good in 
I'm good in the analysis of guys. Listen, listen. Learn to know the difference between anal and analysis. Analyzing and analyzing are two very different things. Learn the difference. Um, what vape are you smoking? You can't get this here. In that previous entry, was the stop loss below the candle? Yes, the stop loss was below the candle. When price broke the high, the stop was below this candle. Um, price went in profits. I closed the position. Price went towards the low. I closed another position. And as you can see right here, my loss is smaller now. $20 on a 50 cent lot. Um, yeah, so I guess today is just going to be a ranging market. But also at the same time, you got to understand this one thing. We had a lot. We didn't really have, well, we had volume during pre-London and London Open. Now in pre-New York, we don't have volume at this time. So maybe the next volume is going to come up with NY Open, New York Open, probably, or maybe at NYSC. So you have to wait. Uh, if I ever get to meet you in real life, would you smoke a joint together? 100%. 100%. But bring sativa, no indica. Stay away from me if you have indica. I don't do that. Always use a regular broker. That's false. That's 100% false. And I'm going to make a big video about regulated brokers versus unregulated brokers. The industry is changing. The entire industry is moving offshore. The entire industry is moving virtual offshore towards unregulations because regulations just mean you have to follow the rules. You know, there's nothing to say that your money is safe. Your money is not safe in a unregulated broker, your money is not safe in a regulated broker. And I can 100% guarantee that it's not safe as they say it is. You know, look at Quadriga CX. It was heavily regulated in Canada. They still ran off at 200 million. Did someone do anything about it? No, it didn't. If you have, let's say a regulated broker, you read the terms and conditions, the only funds that are protected on a regulated broker is 5%. It's 5% of what you have in the account. That's the funds that are protected. It's in the fine print over there, the thing that you agree to. Go over that. You see it. 5 to 10%. That's the only amount that's protected in a regulated broker. So they're basically the same thing. If a regulated bank, like, look at all the regulated banks. If they go belly up, who loses money? You lose money. They get bailed out by the government, by the feds. So, yeah, that's basically... That's no, oh, what's this? No BS, Mr. Raja? Yeah, that's correct. In your last trade account, the trend line short was a good option. What do you think? I don't use trend lines. What are your top three rules when deciding to invest in a business? My top three rules are that if I can, if I can get my investment back within six months, how is the team and how transparent is the money flow within that company? Because the flow of money has to be very, very transparent. Um, how do you understand right moment to close partial of trade price go up fast and pull back fast now now I close 90% oh um, so price went in profits my entire rule to close positions is that if price is gonna go six to nine ten pips in profit and if it comes down to my entry point and goes in a drawdown I'm gonna close 50% right there read the fca regulatory agreement yeah that's the fca regulatory agreement that's the agreement they have with the fca that's not the agreement they have with the clients i'm good at analysis of the market but found zones but the thing is i lose or my trade takes time to be in profit if your tr trades take time to be in profits then you got to take a look at that trades and see that okay where could you have had a better entry what is the actual reason you stop trading five minute account liquidity provider put limit no the only reason I moved from my seven-figure multi-million dollar account to a small account, a $5,000 account, to prove to people that if you do have $5,000, you can build that account to a point where you're able to withdraw at least $2,000 a month from that account. That's the whole reason I switched to a $5,000 account. And quite honestly, I made enough to withdraw for, the, for this uh, last quarter over here that's why i moved to a smaller account so i'm going to see if we can get this account to maybe you know uh, maybe ten thousand by the end of this year because if i can get this to like ten thousand by the end of this year that's going to be proof that you can withdraw enough money to make a decent living from a ten thousand dollar account by withdrawing money after two hours later a high impact news coming on gold that's the reason ranging market maybe yeah maybe 
Uh, I was trying to add funds to my account to debit card. It's taking 24 to 48 hours. Is there where you can add money instantly? Uh, via crypto, you can add money instantly. But with card, it takes that long. Will you have the interview with the leaderboard winner? Yes, we will. We will. Why don't you connect the big account to this one? I don't know how to do that with third-party copiers. And honestly, I'm too lazy to even figure that out. Um, is there any plan in the future of doing marks? Do you have a bank transfer worldwide? Yes. Yes, um, so we're going to be regulated in the DFSA in Dubai. And once we do that, then there's going to be a whole lot more options available. Can we consider gold making down wick regarding 30 minute and one hour? Gold making a down wick? Um, not necessarily, no, because we've created a resistance on the 15 minute. And even if you look at a potential sell below 1663 and 36 cents, this is like a 32 pip range over here. So it's going to be pretty tough. uh deposit protection limit is up to 85 pounds per eligible person yeah that's correct but if you read the agreement you have with your broker guys listen mr aj aj you're confusing the agreement the brokerage has with the regulatory authority versus the agreement you have with the broker you know of course they're going to have very very fancy agreements with the regulatory authority but the but the agreement they have with you is going to be based on the management fees. They're paying the administration costs before they release the funds that were lost while the brokerage blew up. So you have to read the fine print you have the agreement with when you sign up to a brokerage. Um, anyway, not going to talk on that topic now, you know, because you have to do your research first and then come back. Trust me, I do my research when I come back. You can Google it. It's on Google. It's facts. Like, I'm not going to come on the stream here and say something in front of 2,000 people and then this should be wrong. No. If I transfer using a debit card, can I withdraw using crypto? No. Would you recommend a Windows laptop or a MacBook for daily use? That's totally up to you. But honestly, I got my MacBook probably a few months ago and I absolutely, I've, I, I haven't even opened my laptop, my Windows laptop for the past uh, maybe two months. Trading costs is spread plus commission. That's correct. GJ is in such a good range that when it breaks out, it's going to break out aggressively. I 100% agree with that. Look at this. Uh, sorry. Yeah, look at this 30 minute right here. Once we break below 162, this is going to continue to push down. You have such a massive, massive range here for pound yen. It's going to be amazing. Um, I know, but FCA regulated broker is the same as non-regulated broker is misleading. It's not misleading. If someone wants to take your money and run, they will take your money and run. And you can do nothing about it. Absolutely nothing about it. You can do nothing about it. And it all comes down to trust at the end of the day, which is why I stand behind all of our products right now. Did you face any difficulty with MacBook and MT5 on it? Absolutely not. I use uh, Perils. Donate your Windows laptop to me. I'll send you my address. Well, I'll send you my bank information as well so you can send me the money. What should I do with strategy? Let's say 12 months, 3 months in loss, 9 months in profit. Well, you're 9 months in profits, so you're profitable. Who is the owner of Dominion Markets? The one who runs these live streams. Can one pass a prop firm challenge with one-to-one -one risk reward? Absolutely, yes. If you win the first trade of your day, in the second trade, you reduce lots. In what percentage you reduce lot size? That's totally up to your trading plan, Valentina. Coach, when you buy gold today, I see next 15 minute candle after you take buy. That candle break a low, a previous candle. Are you not manage risk there? No, I didn't. I didn't manage risk there because my stop was somewhere down over here, like 1663, 40, somewhere over there. I can see you are using Magic Key. Do they work on Mac or Parallels? They work on MacBooks, yes. Where do you get a copy of a trade with your account? No, you can't. I use Parallels on my MacBook Pro with my Magic Key that runs amazingly and my MT5 is smooth. The MacBook can almost do anything run Windows, best of both worlds. Thank you. Um, please analyze gold chart. It's already analyzed here for you. Now we just got to wait for price to, um, you know, Break above 1669. Um, it's $500 course lifetime or no? It clearly says lifetime, but for you, we're going to do 500 per week. I think I'm the only guy in South Africa who's loving your live streams. Well, thank you. Oyama Bui, 
why isn't anyone else loving the live stream in South Africa? What's going on? What's wrong with them? It's super easy to connect your main account and your current 5k account. Use Forex Copier 3. No, I don't want to download a third party program. I'm going to leave the things as it is. Guys, don't stop worrying about my money. Worry about your own outcome. I have like 6,000 here today. I made $300 today. Stop worrying about me. What time frame are you using for analysis? I'm watching order to learn all the time frames, four hour, one hour, 30 minutes. You have to break down all time frames, right? You have to create a bias on the higher time frames, and then you have to substantiate that bias by analyzing the smaller time frames to see if they're going to work or not. So let's say, for example, if I'm looking for a sell below 162, I'm waiting for candles to break below 162 in time of volume for price to continue to push down. Why can't I open live or demo accounts? Because you've opened way too many accounts. Uh, yeah, probably you opened way too many accounts. Send an email to support and uh, they'll fix that there for you. He's lying. I'm from South Africa. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. How did you configure my FX book? Mine update once a week. I just followed the instructions on my FX book website. Raja, are you looking for GJ cells if it breaks below 162? Yeah, that's what it says right here. <laughs> Musti, come on. <laughs> that's what it says right here. Would you ever have some time of award program or a hierarchy and have to do the same good friend real ones kind of like a leveling system like in gaming? No. It's a waste of time. All right, let's take a look at uh, pre-market data over here. Pre-market data. Let's see. Um, Pre-market data is pretty flat. Nothing's really popping out at this point. It's pretty flat. Yeah. So, so I'll see if if there's an opportunity below 162. Yeah, I'm I'm probably not gonna take it because I'm already you know like six thousand. Like, yeah, like I'm already up here for the day. Made three hundred dollars on this account for the day. So I'm not gonna look for any of the trade now because three hundred dollars is a lot of money. Eighty percent people. Okay. Imagine this, 80% people watching the live stream now today, they don't make $300 a day in their job. I can guarantee that 80% people, if not 80, maybe, you know, some are, some are doing well, 70% will not make $300 working their whole goddamn day. They don't make $300 a day. They don't make $150 a day, not even half of $300. But at the same time, you guys are able to make, you know, $200 in a few minutes on trading and you still over trade and lose that money. Why? Someone's up $200 here. Awesome. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, so I made $300 and I'm going to, I'm going to stay right here. And now I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'll see what else I can do right there. That's it. You know, $300 is a lot of money, man. You go to work tomorrow and you tell them that, hey, you made $300 trading Forex. They'll be like, oh, shit, you made $300. That means you're making 300 times five, right? That means you're making $1,500 a week. That's what they're going to say. $1,500 a week, $300 a day is three is $1,500 a week. That's crazy. Look at this. Musti is up 385 pounds. It's amazing. I suffered through that a lot. I'd make more on the charts than I did at work and still didn't close, then lose it all over and over and over. It took a while for me to get over it. See, that's 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 the realization you want to be you want to get at. And that's what I'm trying to get at by trading this five thousand dollar account for you to realize the power of trading with discipline. Even if you're making one hundred dollars on your trading account, that's more than what you're making in your day job. You know, I took two losses done for today. Very nice. Even in Australia, the minimum is 21 per hour wage. Yeah, see, still. Um, what's the minimal equity do you think is normal for trading for a living? It depends on where you live, but I think 5,000 is, is enough. Bhaijan, can you explain to me in detail about pre-market data? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what I look at, okay? So I look at this, I look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If they are over uh, positive 150, then I say pre-markets are up. 
So gold potentially should go down. If they are in red over 150, let's say like negative 150, if they're more negative than that in red, then I would say, okay, you know, pre-market is negative. Gold potentially may go up. That's it. That's all I look at looking at um, pre-markets. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm a simple person. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm a very simple person. I'm like an ape. That's it. Look at simple things. <laughs> a few years ago, I was getting paid only 60 pounds a day for around eight hours of work. Now it's 300 pounds today after 45 minutes of work all about perspective. Yes, that's correct. Have you read the book Eat by the Frog, Eat the Frog by Brian Tracy? No, but I'm watching this documentary called Eat the Rich on Netflix. Eat the Rich. I'm down $31 today. Only one trade so far. One more to go if GJ breaks out. I'm looking for that. Awesome. Yeah, I think at, if we break below 162, that should be great. Did you go to college? I did go to college. I did go to university. I got my bachelor's. I didn't get my bachelor's degree, but I spent around six years in a bachelor's program. So I am very, very well educated. I would like to think so. Um, do you check pre-market at pre-London too? No. Checking the US pre-markets at London session, it makes no sense at all. If in GJ, it breaks the support, forms candle below support, you wait for retracement. I wait for retracement and then impulse entry. Um, do you think it's a good idea to move to Dubai if your country doesn't allow Forex? I mean, it's totally up to you. What risk do you take per trade? Is it 1%, 1 to 2%? Does Pakistan have a tourist area like other vacation places? The whole Pakistan is a tourist area. You can, Pakistan is an amazing country. Come to Pakistan, contact me, and I'm going to show you around. I'm a lucky son of a gun to have my MetaTrader on my iPhone. Very nice. Thoughts on 500 push-ups a day? I do 100 push-ups a day. Like I'll do 20 in the morning, 20, after, 20 in my gym, 20 in the afternoon, 20 in the evening, and then I'll do 20 at night. 100 push-ups. Let's take a look at this chart over here. This is US 30. Oh, wow, look at this. We're coming up to a potential impulse entry right here. Price closed above range, wait for 30 minute candle to wick down and enter on the break of the high. Yeah, but this had little to no wick over here. So I think if this one breaks the high, there's a possibility for it to continue up. Yeah, possibility. Um, you are the man, simplicity is underrated. That's correct. How much range is enough to take a trade? 30 pips is enough. Age of 37, learning Forex for five months now, all because of your video, I'm able to start live trading. Oh, very nice. Congratulations, Mr. Anil Kumar Shrasta. Anil Kumar Shrasta. Congratulations. Any remarks on prop trading firm? First, get disciplined. Once you get disciplined, then go for the funded challenge. Tell us about the Sydney Bootcamp. Yeah, so we're going to be in Sydney for the Forex three-day bootcamp uh, from the 27th January till the 29th January. I'm in Pakistan currently. I'm coming to Islamabad in a couple of weeks. Any meet and greets? Yes, 15th October, Saturday. Um, do you think it's a good idea to move to Dubai? Yeah, move to Dubai. It's a great idea. Go move there. Great place. Are you coming to UK? Summertime. What are the businesses you own? I own a lot of businesses in the Forex space. I own a very amazing, the best education, virtual education. We own that. We own Magic Keys. Um, one of the best uh, risk managing devices we have. I don't have one on me now. I have to configure a new one to my computer. And then we own, we own a brokerage one of the fastest growing crypto forex cft brokerages right now of this year we also have a share in one of the uh funding companies now so tell them you own a mind yeah i own my i own a mind your own business what's the name of the prop firm fxm funding that's what it's called and that's the only funding company now for consistent traders who get salary once you go live so it's, it works like a hedge fund tell us how we can move to dubai to trade forex full time listen you know how I got my residency in Dubai? You know how I got my residency in Dubai? I'll tell you exactly how I got my residency in Dubai and I was able to open bank accounts in Dubai to pay zero taxes. I'll tell you just right now how I did that, right? Step by step. Here's what I did. 
I was watching a realtor on YouTube. I'm not going to name the realtor because I'm going to I'm going to let you use your own brand. I was just I was just fucking around on YouTube because the more you fuck around, the more you find out. There was a video I posted about this too. That if you fuck around to a level of 10, you're going to find out to the level of 10. But if you don't fuck around, you're not going to find out. So I was fucking around on YouTube on this realtor and he was talking about properties in Dubai and this and that and this and that. So I messaged him WhatsApp. I got his number. I messaged him WhatsApp. I'm like, hey, Mr. Realtor. So, you know, I want to get a golden visa and whatever, this and that. And you know what he said to me? He said to me, oh, Mr. Raja, listen, you want to open a bank account in Dubai? Talk to these guys. Talk to these guys. They're a consultancy group and they can help you get open up a company in Dubai and this and that. So I Googled them. Once I Googled them, I called them up. They said, hey, you got to be in Dubai to do that. I'm like, okay, perfect. So I flew over to Dubai, stayed there for two weeks, got everything done, signs, documents, paid the fee, everything done. And they guided me the whole process. That's what I did. Only because the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. But if you don't do that, if you just ask random people online, oh yeah, there we go. Someone said it, Adam Consulting. <laughs> that's the exact company i went with <laughs> it's it's basically adam consulting yeah how much did they charge eight thousand us dollars they charged a whopping eight thousand dollars see my tone the way i said it but if i said oh they charge around eight thousand dollars for your visa, consultancy, everything. Just, just, just eight thousand. Just eight thousand. No, they wanted to charge me more, but you know I'm Raja Banks and I like to save money, so I asked them for a discount. <laughs> yeah. Um, Raja is a common name in India. Are your ancestors from India? La hola wa la Pure Pakistanis. When are you announcing the leaderboard winners? We already did announce the leaderboard winner and there was one winner. There was one person who won. His return was 300% and his drawdown was 17%. Everyone else, their drawdowns were over 25. You could have simply invested 2 million dirhams, a 10 year visa. Wow. 2 million dirhams, you you even know how much money that is to be tied down? I would never, I would never have that much money tied down just for a visa. Hell no. Uh, do you think that the 80-20 rule is more accurate for learning and other stuff? Yes. Man, you crap me up too much. Thank you. What about second and third position? What are you talking about? Second and third. You think I can read your mind? Absolutely not. Um... $25,000, yeah, there's a uh, $25,000, that's uh, um, the uh, well, uh, wealthy expat. Yeah, wealthy expat, he charges a lot. He charges a lot. How old were you in your Twitter profile picture? Um, that picture is like from 2008, I'm 35 now. No, that's from 2007, I'm 35 now, so just do the math. You look like a Mortal Kombat character. Yes, like Johnny Cage. 25,000 is his price. Yeah, he's charging a lot. And that's for Free Zone. Free Zone is like $5,000. I got Mainland, Mainland license. That's a little bit more expensive than Free Zone, but way better. Yeah, he's charging too much. God damn. Are you Somalian? Are you stupid? Bro, do I look Somalian to you? Can you please spell out your prop firm company? It's in my description. Pakistani always gets the best price. Yes. Is it best to set levels and not touch the charts till those levels are reached? Yes. So you can see right here, I have a level set up at 1669. So I'm not going to touch gold unless it comes towards 1669. You buy a house in Sharjah after what is the cost of taxes like water, electricity? No idea, man. I don't live in Sharjah right now. I live in Pakistan. So once I go there, then I will know. I'm up 1.3% by risking only 0.2% per trade. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. Do you recommend Chat with Traders episode 82? Do I recommend? Do I recommend? I've recommended that like so many times. No, I don't recommend that episode. That's a trash episode. I think people are just too cheap. They don't understand that money is just a tool to give you access quicker to service. That's correct. 
Um, I also think people are too afraid to take chances. If you don't take chances, you will never know what's on the other side of you taking a chance. You know, for a very, very long time, I've been working online for a very, very long time, and I would have made these intercontinent moves maybe four years ago, I was able to do that, but I couldn't. I couldn't, I don't know why, I was just afraid. But once I made that move to Pakistan, I was like, oh hell, man, like, you can do whatever you want. You can move wherever you want. So do you know what is fair value gap? I don't know what that is. Survived four months on $500 account, very nice. What's your tips for new trader? One or two trades a day. How do you find marquee levels accurately by looking at the chart, by looking at rejection zones on the 30 minute, one hour time frame, and so that. So one thing that's going through my mind right now is that gold has been consolidating for uh, pre-London, London Open, pre-New York, right? If this 30 minute candle closes above this area, the next 30 minute candle, which is gonna be the N New York Open candle with volume, we may continue up towards 1669. That's what's going through my mind, and I just decided to share it with you guys. They don't tell me what's wrong with my uh, deposit withdrawal. Send an email again with uh, subject urgent. Okay. What's your insight about KOT Forex broker? I have no insight on that. I have no insight on that. But I the. The only insight I do have is that there are no incentives to trade over there. Would you consider selling GJ with the break of 30 minute current candle? Actually, KOT broker, I don't know why they're still on MT4. They should be moving to MT5. All these brokerages you see, they're using MT4 now. You got to understand this one thing. Metacodes provides no support to MT4. They provide no support to MT4, which is why when you have issues, liquidity issues or whatever, they're hesitant to credit you back because Metacodes don't provide support to MT4 and MT4 licenses are cheaper now. MT5 licenses was a new technology. It's more robust. People here who use MT5, they can attest to that. They can attest to that, that yeah, you know, MT5 on any platform is actually way, way better than MT4. So I think KOT 4X is just too cheap right now to switch over to MT5, which is a much more superior platform. Um, I have doubt if dollar is upside and gold will go upside as it's possible it will go. Sure, it will go, it will go. Would you consider selling GJ with the break of 30 min candle low? No, below 162. What's the name of your funded account? I'm not going to tell you. How do you identify the volume in the market? By looking at the time. Looking at the time, my son. Look at the time now. Time now is 15 minutes to NY Open. But FXM funding only offers MT4. Yes, yes, that's why we're bringing them over to Dominion Market so that they can provide MT5 and everyone can have a much better experience. Uh, do you still use FX Soft for FX? Yes. What's up with Dominion incentive replies? Oh, no replies? Okay, we're gonna get on to that. Um, all I know is that we ran out of product for incentives. So we're just waiting for that to get stocked up before we do that because then the shipping gets late. Uh, just wanted to say thank you. Been following you for years. I'm cashing out monthly and currently developing app for businesses. Oh, very nice. Mr. Satesh Eric. Beautiful. What's the difference between MT4 and MT5? YouTube it. Can we have your investor account for your current account? No, thanks. Do you, do you study SMC? No. Was there a simulation this weekend? Yes, check announcements. There's China in EU bank holiday. Does it affect volume of trading today? Just use your brain. Just use your brain. There's China bank holiday, which means China banks are, all, are closed anyway at this time. And there's EU bank holiday. How will EU bank holiday affect USD pairs and pound pairs? How? How? Just how? Why don't you trade oil? Because I don't trade oil. Um, sort code and account number. Yes, send that to me. Oh, wow, look at this. With 1 to 30 leverage, my last four months were 20%. And last month, 53%. Today, 2%. I'm done. Thanks for all the knowledge. Oh, very nice. Oh, there we go. We have some, we have some uh, volume coming in now. 
we have some volume coming in now. You see how fast price moved? And look at the spread, right? Oh, damn, look at the spread. It's three pips. There's a lot of volume now in pound yen. I wonder what's happening over here. I wonder what is happening over here. We have a lot of volume coming up right now. Scammer Savage didn't try to run up on you while he was in Miami? No, he will never dare. Uh, with the cowboy vibes right now, <laughs> fourth straight? No, nah, I'm just, you know, just whatever. Um, dear Raja, where do you get positive energy? Well, you go to Walmart and, well, there's no Walmart over here. So you go to Green Valley, Green Valley, Sapka Miljiki, positive energy. Um, you know, you can, you can look in the mirror. You look in the mirror and you try to get some positive energy. You know, the best sort of positive energy someone can ever get in the morning, in the morning is by looking at yourself in the mirror. That's the positive energy you want. That's the positive energy you want. You know, you have a nice body, you work out, you eat healthy. First thing in the morning, you look at someone who's ripped, who's shredded, who looks good. You automatically feel good. And when you feel good, your entire day is amazing. But if you look in the morning at yourself and you don't like what you see, man, your day is going to be terrible. So the first thing first, you have to fix your diet. You have to start exercising, start working out, start lifting weights. If you don't like weights, do yoga, do Pilates or whatever the hell you want to do. But start to move your body around because you feel good that way. And when you feel good that way, mentally you're strong, mentally you're, you know, there all the time. How much do you earn from Forex trading? Well, so far last week I've earned around $1,000, but realized earnings is uh, $150. That's what I withdrew as last week. So I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good, 150 bucks. Look at yourself in the mirror after the gym when you're on a pump, that's true. You train same time every day. I do everything the same time every day. Every day, I do the same things at the same time. There may be 15, 20 minutes up and down, but it's the same thing. I need fully honest thank you, man, from all sources, books, webinars. It's your streams that made profitable for the last six months. Oh, beautiful, man. That's amazing. Whenever people tell me that the streams have made them profitable, that's such a humbling feeling. Because when I first started trading, there were no live streams. There was no Raja Banks live streams. There were no Controller FX copycat China live streams. There were no nothing. There was no knowledge. There was no value. The only value you had were guys on, you know, um, on YouTube, marking up trading view charts like this and saying, oh guys, I use this strategy. And with this strategy, if you would have, let me just do this. And all they say on YouTube is, oh guys, all you had to do was take a buy right over here and you would have been in profits. And your profits would have been so great that this would have been a, you know, whatever, like one, two, 100 risk reward that's what they do that's what they that that's what i found on youtube when i started learning eight like seven years ago guys with trading view charts oh if you would have entered over here or if you would have entered down over here you know and i was like why can't someone show me live what's going on and i told myself that okay if i get good at trading i'm gonna start to show people live how to do certain things and here we are now you know, so I think now these live streams have turned out to be a beautiful thing. Like we have 2,700 people watching and I think that's absolutely beautiful that we've, you know, brought the whole community together as a whole. Is KFC Pakistan good? To be honest, I've had the best KFC in Pakistan because it's halal. Not saying there's anything wrong with chicken that's not cut the proper way. Um, yeah, so please li uh, like, give a thumbs up on the live streams because it spreads the live streams for a lot of people who don't know about trading or who are stuck, you know, give a like on the live stream, subscribe to the channel. To be honest, stream has pushed me far enough more than the course I was in. All I can say is thank you. You're welcome. Uh, were the steak places in Miami halal? No. Try Malaysia's KFC. We'll do that. We'll be in Mal We'll be in Singapore in March. So we'll see. Can't believe Control Effects such a copycat. Has even changed his name to Don after you did. Then he says on live that you copy him. Yeah, he's stupid. All right. Why is everyone talking about me? 
I found out that I was overloading with knowledge, to be honest, the simple rules that helped me psychology plus trading plans for consistency. Yeah. And that's the, um, that's the mistake I made too in the beginning. In the beginning, I was just overloading myself with so much knowledge and that knowledge wasn't really helping me trade better because I was learning about Fibonacci's and trends and EMAs and SMAs and, and, you know, stochastics and Bollinger Bands. And the only thing that really helped me was reading candles, because if you can't read candles on a candlestick chart, then you can't trade. That's it. You can't trade. Do you have any property in Miami? No. I'm down 2.6% from last month. How can I have this drawback, not mess with psychology, just focus on one or two trades a day? What do you think about the incident that killed soccer supporters in Indonesia yesterday, which resulted in thousands, hundreds of deaths? I didn't know that up till now. And, you know, I hope their families come out of this tragedy. That's all I can say. I've been trading for about a year and three months. I found you on YouTube one month ago and have already increased my earnings. Oh, wow. If someone shows is also an MT4 with a live account, can it be faked? I have no idea. I can't deposit from Hungary and Dominion Markets. Is there any solution for that? I choose crypto and it's giving a QR code that won't work. Well, then don't use a QR code. Use the uh, wallet address. Like, come on. So we have seven minutes left for the candle to close. Seven minutes left. When are you going to smoke ganja again, brother? I have no idea. Tomorrow is not promised. Um, if you had one win on the session as a new trader, should I just call it a day or give trade another chance? If I only had one trade for today, I would maybe look for a sell below 162 or I would look for I would look for a potential buy if the steady main candle closes bullish probably at around 1666.20 oh I mute Daniel Savage group when I enter Forex family loss of $350 well that was a that was a you got three. Well, I think that was a lesson learned, I guess. I was starting trading gold. I deposited once $500 and made only $90 first month. I did continue 15% maintained per month. And now I got 400,000 in eight years. Absolutely beautiful. Do you look at daily ATR? Don't know what that is. I've recently purchased a challenge with blue Forex funds. It's a new company prop firm. They basically have their own broker and the server. So manipulated price move differently than trading view. And their server is so manipulated, price move different than trading view. <laughs> Why are you on there then? <laughs> Why do US regulated brokers don't allow to trade gold? I don't know. They don't want people to make money. Regulation is not in your favor. Let me put it that way. Regulations doesn't mean that you're going to make money. That's what I stand behind. I stand behind the free world. I stand behind doing things in ethical ways, but not cheating. Those are two things you got to stand behind. Ever thought about quitting vape someday? This is not vape. This is uh, something else. Um, I'm not fake, bro. Don't take funded challenges. Okay. Um, what do you think about FTMO? Do you think about them at all? I know. Do you invest in crypto? No. How long you give yourself if you are too late for entry? I wait for the next one. All right. What's going on over here? Uh, Mr. Rocky Gill. I'm, the, I'm in the stream for a long time and was hibernating for more than a year. Just focusing on myself, keeping up with one, two, two trades. I'm happy to tell you I bought a restaurant in the Netherlands with the profits of trading. Thanks a lot. I'm changing name of biryani dish to Raja Lamb Biryani. Bro, if you change the name to Raja Lamb Biryani, I will donate something to that restaurant. If you change the name to Raja Lamb Biryani on your menu. I think that's going to be hilarious. That's going to be crazy. So yeah. <laughs> Dominion gold spreads are high. 
I think you're pretty high right now. This is one pip, 1.3. This is almost one pip spread on gold on Dominion markets. The spreads aren't high. Probably you're high right now. Do a funded challenge in same like 200k. No, no thanks. I kind of find it interesting how you were against prop firm and once you invested in FXM funding, you started telling people to buy it. Just show that your intentions isn't pure. You don't care about your fans. Well, you failed to also mention that I'm also telling people to get funded accounts only if they're profitable on their accounts. And also you failed to mention that also said that only get funded accounts if you can withdraw that funded fee from your account. So that funded account comes free at the same time, you know, and that's going to give you a much better chance of winning. You fail to mention that you fail, which is why a lot of you guys will fail because you don't analyze things properly. You just analyze them. You don't analyze them. Yeah, the name of the dish, not the restaurant. Um, made 10% on my 50k funded account. Oh, beautiful. Very, very well done. What do you know about Traders Domain? It's a great brokerage. Raja, goat, biryani sounds good. What's the pre-market conditions showing? Well, go look at them and then tell me. Do you have any opinion of the broker XM? Yes. There's a brokerage called FXM. Just passed phase one of FTMO. Beautiful. Guys are talking in Norwish there. Ekkom Oksnel Kartej Langzen Vurburj. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. So here we have NYO, oh, it's Dutch. <laughs> Norwich. <laughs> That's like someone saying, Oh, do you speak Pakistani? <laughs> Don Wu is your student? Yes, Don Wu is my student. Alright, so here we go. Um 30 minute candle is about to close in about a minute and a half. And I think with volume and NY open, we can continue pushing price up. Do you speak Somalian? No. All right. All right. Let's see over here. What do we have here now? All right, should this be a low risk trade? Absolutely, because it's an impulse trade, but I'm not gonna execute on this because I'm just gonna spectate it because um, I've already taken three trades here. So yeah. Do you think Raul's fund program really opens the trades and live accounts? I have no idea, but you know, they they have some people passing there. So, you know, this should be good. What soft Rito do you use for streaming? Uh, I meant software, um, X split. Okay, there we go. We got 10 seconds left over here. 30 minute candles closing above these two candles to the left hand side. We need volume to push price up and volume is coming in from NY open right now. So I think this should be a very good opportunity for price to continue to move up on gold, probably to like 1668. It would be a pretty good idea. It's like about 13, 14 pips away, but then also we can tap into 1669. So only when there's volume in the market, you're going to see price move. Only when there's volume in the market and this volume you're seeing is coming in from NY open. Let's take a look at pound yen here. Pound yen is also stuck in this area. This is a very, very strong rejection area here, 162, 600. Um, <coughs> Raja Lamb Biryani, 16 euros. Amazing. <laughs> That's crazy, Raja Lamb Biryani. <laughs> I'm going to save this link and uh, message me on uh, Slack. Message me on Slack and uh, yeah, so so we can get that uh, a little bit of a donation rolling over there. <laughs> That's incredible. Raja Lambriani. Oh. 
five hundred or five hundred for funded account. What do you mean five hundred or five hundred? Uh, what are the biggest mistakes for beginners? Over trading and over risking. Two biggest mistakes. Are you using fundamentals in your strategy? No. Not right now. Not right now. Can we ship the plate in USA? I'm from US. Uh, Maybe, probably, you'll be able to ship a plate to the U.S. But I'm not sure now. Is Donway over risk on his trade? I have no idea what trade he has running. Um, SMC versus indicators, none. Leave both of them. You don't need them. You don't need SMC and you don't need indicators. Today, gold has low volume, maybe due to waiting news. Yeah, maybe, but now we've made a lower wick on um, you know the 30 minute time frame so yeah very good possibility it could tap into 1669 what leverage you use 100 to 1 100 to 1 that's the leverage being used Raja Tate delicious Dumba biryani I don't like Dumba Dumba to bo boom bo ashniya I went to a, so I don't like lamb because lamb smells, you know, and there's a very potent taste to the meat. Um, I went to, uh, so my friend, my dear friend, my dear friend, they invited me to their house in Abu Dhabi and they cooked a lamb for me. Oh my God. That is the best lamb I ever had in my life. The best lamb I ever had. And you know what? I asked them, what's what type of a lamb this is they said that this is a newborn lamb the lamb i think was like two months old like one and a half to two month old lamb and man such amazing tender meat wow incredible no smell no potent taste just so amazing it was like i was eating chicken um why are you hating on smc it's just supply and demand blah 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 man smc smart money concept doesn't work what is smart money concept Smart money concept is somewhere where smart money trades. Who knows where smart money trades? Who knows where smart money trades? Do smart people tell you where smart money trades? Do banks tell you where smart money trades? Do institutions tell you where they trade? Do they tell you where their orders are? It's a dumb fucking concept people are promoting now. No one has any proof that smart money concept makes them money. Nobody. Some retards have, you know, signal groups running that, oh, we'll give you signals of smart money signals. That's it. It doesn't work. Show me proof. Show me some, you know, some my FX book proof for about one month or two months that smart money concept works. It doesn't fucking work. You're wasting money. I saw this one guy who said that, oh, we have a smart money course for about $2,000. You're going to pay $2,000. Apparently, the banks are going to tell you where they make money. Like banks are going to tell you where they make billions of dollars for $2,000. Are you stupid? Why? ICT is proof. Yeah, ICT also admitted he trades demo. Um, favorite weather? Summertime. Yeah, there's there's no such thing as smart money concept, man. There's no such thing like that. Nothing. If there were, people would be billionaires. Smart money traders think that the banks are also using MT4. Yeah, that's the other biggest lie, that the banks use MT4. Oh, no, banks use C Trader. Banks don't use that. Banks don't even trade on that. They, they watch price indexes. They watch price levels, and that's how they trade. Um, in every industry, I would smack the person who said that. Yeah, I'd smack the person, too, if they said that. And I can guarantee you that all these smart money traders, they, their age is they're below 25. They're below 25. All these smart money concept traders, they're below 25 years old. Anyone mature enough who's over 30, they know that smart. there's no such thing as smart money. I'm an expert on programming, not trading. So I implemented an EA, which makes $60 to $150 on a regular basis and $100 to $200 news days. Is it worth to implement furthermore? Amir, message me on Slack and I'm going to put on 5000 behind that EA on the leaderboard and let's run it up. Oh, on the 10,000. Okay, I'll put 10,000 in that EA and then let's run it up. 
Um, I gave a kid from Nigeria a small 5k funded challenge account. He claimed to be using smart money concept. He blew the account. Well, if he traded smart money concept, then he wouldn't be living in fucking Nigeria. You know, he would be living in a place like Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Singapore or Malaysia or something somewhere nice. Like, think about it. Think about that. You know, like, think about those things. Um, nothing against Nigeria, but yeah. Understand why it can be rejected. Okay, let's take a look at this over here. Oh, nice. Very nice. So you took two trades here on gold. Wow, look at that. Major, major liquidity grab over there on gold. Mac wants to be unmuted. All right, let's... Uh, there we go, Mac. You can unmute yourself now. Hello. Hey. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was something important you wanted to share. No. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> Back to the cave I go. All right. Um, Matt, you are stronger than Raja. Yes, he is. He's is stronger than me now. He's getting stronger every day, day by day. Because he's day by getting, day. Yeah. Why? Meal by meal. Because you consistently go to the gym. Yeah, I do. Exactly. Every day. I and, uh, take a day off. I also sprained my shoulder. So now I can't get strong enough faster. So mm -hmm. I have to get stronger uh, slowly. I, have, I, have, I believe I have 17 or 18 dislocations on my left shoulder. <laughs> so the rotator cuff is you know, worn out. Oh. Really bad. So I understand the pain. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I never said Nigeria is bad. I just said that then if you were making that much money, you wouldn't be living in Nigeria unless you were like the king of Nigeria or whatever. <laughs> so don't misconstrue my words. Don't be don't be one of those aunties, those one of those old gossiping ladies that change words. All these arm injuries, what you guys do with your arms so much. <laughs> Mus smart <laughs> muscle concept. <laughs> I'm from Sahiwal. Whenever you come in Pakistan, when I come to Pakistan, I'll let you know. Do you know Adam Chaudhry? He is a scammer from Pakistan. There are a lot of scammers in Pakistan. Um, why are you living in Pakistan? I'm living in Pakistan because I have a very, very nice life in Pakistan. I have two paid off cars. I have a lot of property in Pakistan. I live like I'm living in Dubai in Pakistan. That's why I'm living in Pakistan. And also I don't pay people or people don't pay me to pass their funded challenges. That's another big thing. Have you ever felt bad for not profiting more than you did? Nope. Because I have a point to prove for the next three months. There are millionaires living in Nigeria. Not everyone wants to live in other countries, but millionaires aren't taking money from people to pass their funded challenges. Right. Okay. Um, can I meet you if I come to Pakistan from Europe? Sure. ICT trades live. He just teaches on demo. Well, why didn't he teach on live? Um, I have a lot of Nigerian friends. Don't worry about it. And they love me and I love them. Um, uh, What's this over here? Which city are you in Pakistan? That is, that's irrelevant. Um, hello from Thailand. Hello. Hey, how are you? We're going to be in Thailand in March. So we're going to go to Thailand and then Singapore in March. Go to that place, Tiger Muay Thai. What? what? Oh, Tiger Muay Thai. Place. Yeah. yeah. Will you upload part two of the Miami vlog? Yes. You're doing so many boot camps. Why? Um, it's more like building connections and it's more like visiting different places to see where we can, you know, visiting cultures and stuff. No, no boot camp in Thailand. No, it's going to be in one Singapore. But while we're going to have a boot camp in Singapore, we're just going to try to visit places nearby. Yeah. 
I feel bad for American traders. New York Open has been so tragic lately. Yeah, man. New York Open lately for the last two weeks has been just trash. Um, London has been way, 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 way better. You're talking about others because I don't know that they're talking nonsense, but you're talking about idiotic ideas and concepts like that. You're saying that you want to prove that. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you think about Jesus Romania? Christ. I would love to go to Romania. I would love to go to Romania. Um, the vampires. Yeah. Does Miami have the highest trading IQ? Dubai has the highest trading IQ. Nothing against Miami. There are a lot of successful people in Miami. But um, Dubai and London so far at the top. Do we have a cent account on doing markets? No. How many pairs do you trade? Two. Um, so, yeah, man, there's no, um, there's no volume at this point now, so I don't know what to do. Probably this is going to be volume by NYSE open, New York Stock Exchange open, and, uh, Look that's about it. GJ buys. Yeah, probably, or GJ sells below 162. Hmm. What about here? Too, too risky? Sells? Yeah. No, there's support. There's support at 162, 100. Gotcha. Yeah. Swaggy C is leaving. Your thoughts? I don't know. Like, people can do whatever they want. How can I have a thought on that? He makes great video content, though. Amazing. Wait till you see the silent and successful traders from Singapore that don't post their wealth for driving electric car. Yes! I know a lot of great traders in Singapore, and that's one of the reasons why I want to connect to them. Have you looked into trading futures? No. Um, I want to meet you. I'm from AJK, Azad Jammu Kashmir. Oh, nice. Very nice. Inshallah, we will meet. Come to Ralpindi Islamabad. Need to go. Have a good day. Hey, Alessandro. Have a great day. Okay, so I'm going to head off over here. I think it was a great session we had. Had one loss here, so it's whatever. Managed the loss, so I think that's still a win. Um, okay. Unfortunately, there were no worthwhile taking moves. There, there were no worthwhile moves while we were on the live stream. It is what it is. You know, probably tomorrow we can have a better live stream where day after tomorrow, basically. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ages. No trade today, one loss. Anyway, take care, everyone. We'll see you Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Take care. Bye, take care. Hasta la vista. Bye. <laughs> bye, Gulag. Bye. Have fun. Bye, Raja. Remember, buy is above 16.69 and sells below 162 on pound yen. Oh, someone's morning. Someone's morning. Cock. Mm. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle.